I am Andres Campuzano, and thanks for joining me on another episode of the Vinyl of the Week. This week, I'm celebrating International Women's Day, which is actually tomorrow, March 8th, 2021. And for that, I'm going to be talking about the queen of salsa, none other than Celia Cruz. She was born on October 21st, 1925 in Havana, Cuba. Her career spanned six decades and took her from Cuba to the United States, and she became known around the world for her piercing and powerful voice, but mostly for that larger-than-life personality that she had. Upon her death, she was celebrated around the world as the queen of Latin music and, of course, like I said, the queen of salsa. This album, A Night of Salsa, uh, was recorded live during a concert on May 12, 1999 in Hartford, Connecticut, and among the participants at the concert were the famous Tito Puente and Johnny Pacheco. This is a great album. During her professional career, she recorded more than 80 albums and songs, many of which went gold or platinum. She won five Grammy Awards and received various other nominations for her contributions to Latin music. Here's the thing about Celia Cruz. She reinvented herself at every opportunity and, you know, was always gaining new and younger fans. During the latter part of her career, she started performing in music videos and recording hip-hop and other genres of more contemporary music. One of her greatest hits from this period is La Negra Tiene Tumbao. This became an anthem to a whole new generation of fans, including my wife, who loves to sing and dance to this song at every single Latin party that we go to. Unfortunately, Celia passed away on July 16, 2003 in New Jersey due to brain cancer. She left a deep hole in the Latin music industry. However, this did not stop her legacy from being passed down from generation to generation. And today, nearly 18 years after we lost this wonderful, pure and amazing person, people continue to sing, dance and enjoy her music. So, please go and listen to Celia. Celebrate all women, and I will see you here next week with another great album in the Vinyl of the Week. Bye.